Hey, hello everybody, Dr. Garrett, and I'd like to share with you today a really cool hybrid. It's like a, a cross between tabletop and gate pose. It's really good at mobilizing your body. So check out this chart. The mobile joints are the green, the stable joints are the red, and understanding this relationship is pretty important because when things aren't mobile, the stable things have to start moving, and our body doesn't like that. So what's cool is we can combo these by this little sequence. You'll start in a tabletop with blocks under your hands, and that just helps you to connect. You don't need them necessarily. Stick your foot out to the side, and make sure your pinky toe's on the ground, your toes are pointed forward. Now important, this is for the core, you pull your blocks towards your knee, and then I already started, you'll inhale to rock forward, and exhale to rock back. And you wanna go slow, and keep the pull the entire time. You'll see that I have my toes tucked here, and that's just to get a little bit more big toe extension in. That's just a nice bonus. Um, to feel this especially, make sure your armpits are active. You can draw your hips back as far as you like. It's all about comfort with this one. You might even want to place a blanket under your knee. Second phase is the windmill. So easy windmill. You reach your same side arm to the leg that's out, up to the sky. And then hard windmill, you'll reach the opposite arm. And so here I got full mobility, but you might want to start with your elbow just in order to not crank your spine. So please be comfortable with that one. You twist through the heart, reach through the fingers. You can even add your neck by looking up. And then I like to spread my fingers when I get to the top too, just to add a little bonus there for my wrist joint. Now what's cool about this one is, is now you just got the thoracic spine feeling good, a little bit into the neck. Now we can add some active hip mobility. So you push your heel into the ground and rotate your pinky toe out to the side. Now if you're doing that right, you should feel your butt and you should feel the front of your thigh all working through that. You'll do that a couple times, just kind of working through that active range of motion by pushing your foot down. Stay active rather than flop. Then you can finalize it with a little bit of ankle mobility. So here I am just pointing, flexing my toes. You can make some circles. You can windshield wiper your foot side to side. There's a lot of opportunity there. So feel free to play with it. You can be as active as you want with that one too. So you can keep your heel pressed down or not. You know, kind of work with what you feel. Um, that's the flow. And as you can see, it's got a lot of sweet benefits. I especially like to throw it in as a warm-up. It just gets everything mobile. Enjoy, my friends. Namaste.